All right, the sound, man, it's what we care about, right? It's great looking, but we also like the sound. Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks so much for joining me on today's video. Listen, there is some things that just make you smile and take you back to a different time, right? We get the, the olfactory smell of things that just, that just take you back to your grandmother's couch that she bought. She remembered the hard times of uh, the depression and she put the vinyl on it and you had to sit on the vinyl on the couch. And most people weren't even allowed in that room. Remember that room? The 50s were an amazing time. When you think about how simple the world was and how few things today, which we think are so great, really, at the end of the day, sometimes might not be so great, right? The iPhone, great invention. However, everybody can get a hold of you. There is no break, right? Getting outside, sometimes you can't because you're a slave to the computer and the internet, right? All of these things. That's why these have continued to go up in value time and time again. It is a blue chip investment. You can watch them go up and you say, Tone, how could you possibly know that these cars are going up in value? Well, here's a simple fact. This car right here, uh, new, was let's say around $4,000. It's no longer $4,000, all right? That's my point. My point is what was old is new. This is a time for you to take a break in life. Get in something like this. Go for a drive. It is a game changer. It's half therapy, half fun. A C1 Corvette, right? Why is it a great car? Why do people love them? What is it about it that makes that car so great? Let's talk about that for just a quick second. These painted coves, you know, here's a little bit of trivia for you. This car was built from uh, these here from uh, the early uh, times, but when they went to uh, the painted cove, the last year of this car, could you get a painted cove or not? I'll let you look that answer up. Anyway, the point is the ones with the painted cove, when we're talking about uh, uh, the Roman red and the ermine white paint here, the wide whites, these are wide white radials, right? If you were going to a Corvette show, right, you would get dinged for these because they're not period correct bias flat tires. However, that's an easy change if you wanna do that. But my point is that this makes the car drive 50% better. Radial tire is one of the best inventions ever. These are stainless spinner caps that are on there, right? This car is set up because it's, it's set up to be a beautiful car and it came that way from the factory. All new chrome and stainless. This beautiful wrap around windshield like this. Look at this stuff for a second. Why is a car great looking? These are the things I'm telling you that make a car great looking in the styling department. This piece of chrome trim makes the car look like it's moving even when it's not, right? This right here, uh, all styling there. This wrap around windshield and these pods inside here. Normally, all the other cars that you see, like Chevelles and what have you, has a flat windshield in it. This was, this was the flagship for uh, Chevrolet and it shows it. Lastly, I like to show the quality of the paint. I like to give a quick lesson on paint if I could for just a quick moment. Is when you're looking at paint and you wanna see if paint is really nice, don't look at the paint itself. You say, Tone, what does that mean? How do, how do I, ah, 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 right? Here's what I want you to do. Look at the ceiling, right? Look at the ceiling in there and see the ribs in there. Look at the, and see the lights. You can see the wires to the lights. And then you can see how crisp and clear these letters are. That's what I call mirror finish because then this tells us a story of what kind of paint we really have. If it was not great paint, these letters would be fuzzy and they'd be harder to read. All right, so we're back to the styling part again, right? This could have been just a flat hood and would have been enough. However, they added these in here, makes it look great. That grill, spectacular, all new chrome and stainless around the car. And then the hood opens forward, right? That's a luxury car, very European style thing for expensive cars. Next, let's talk about judging the car, right? If you went to a car show or something like that, maybe you want to uh, show it off. Maybe you don't, maybe you just want a car to drive. I love either one of those. Whatever you choose to do makes me happy, don't care. However, the good stuff is here um, to get you where you wanna go. For instance, this is the original matching numbers engine that's in the car, right? Uh, in here we have GM hoses with tower clamps. You say, well, Tom, why are you rambling on about tower clamps? They can't be very expensive. I say, you're absolutely right. They're not very expensive. They are 10 times the price of a regular clamp. This ignition shielding here uh, is another feature. The correct valve covers that are on here, right? Uh, the HVAC system that works. The detail under here, it still has the generator on it. It hasn't been converted to an alternator. 
right? These are the things that make some cars worth more than others. All right, so here we are. We're still as part of the jet age of the styling of this car. I, I'm spending some time showing you so, so many people love these cars and they look at them and go, wow, it's a great car, but we don't know why it's a great looking car, right? So here we have uh, the jet engine coming out of the back. The exhaust comes out of the bumper, right? That is a cool feature. No other cars really do that. So well done. And it's split, which I just love. Um, these long taillights, instead of just having two taillights stuck down here, they put them at the top here, right? This is stuff that they're doing today with headlights, right? That wasn't always the case. Looking through here, you're driving behind this car and you see the pods there of the gauges. Nothing cooler, nothing cooler than a dash mounted mirror, huh? You can't get that today and it's so good. That's why it would be the sole reason I buy this car, okay? Then inside here, okay? This right here has all been detailed. This right here is an aftermarket piece that can go in the center if you want. Uh, we didn't put it in the car for the video, but it comes with the car. It'll be in there. This has got the correct mat in here. Uh, this does have an upgraded audio system in here. So there's a CD changer back here and what looks like a stock original style radio when we get inside the engine, uh, engine when we get inside the interior, uh, we'll go ahead and check that out too. But it's a digital unit that you can stream music from and run a uh, CD and stuff like that too. All right, so you decided it's Friday, you're walking, uh, you drove it to work. Whoa, I can drive this to work? Absolutely, you can drive this to work. You should drive this to work, right? Drive it when you want to. This car is designed to be driven. It was driven in 59. It was a daily driver for somebody in 59. It doesn't need to be your daily driver, but it can certainly go to work once a week, right? How different would that be, your ride home? Huh, game changer. Anyway, I want you to see what it's like to walk up to your great car, but really what I'm gonna do is spend a minute inside it and show you that. One of the nice things I do love about this is it's a little bit more modern than other cars in the sense that the convertible top is right here. It's hidden inside and it's ready for you in case of foul weather, where you talk about like first gen Vipers and, uh, and like T-Birds, they don't come standard with uh, a soft top. Like there's a lot of vehicles out there that don't even have a soft top or they have a clip on something or like a Cobra, uh, not easy. This right here, boom, top up, latch, hit the road. All right, inside we go. This is a driver's car. It's meant to be driven. They want you to drive this car, right? Look at the styling of this car inside, like all of this trim that's in here. This beautiful piece here, like a center stack console. This was, a, this, think about this 1950s, no car had an interior like this. No car had an interior like this. It's why people love them. Look at the door panels with the two-tone, with the aluminum and the mixed textures that are in here. What do they call that? Mixed media door panels, right? Uh, the lights that are down there, the door locks, the door handles, this cool knob that opens and closes the door. This steering wheel is spectacular. Just so sporty and good looking. They do sell a replica steering wheel that's smaller, right? Uh, by two inches, which will give you more leg room if that's what you want. Um, they also sell tilt wheel for it too. If you are a bigger person and you need to be able to get in and out, uh, those are some of the things that you can get done. You can clearly see that the the seats have been uh, uh, redone, carpet, dash has been done, the gauges are done. It's showing 4,276 miles on it. We believe that's since the restoration. So uh, what's not to like about a car that has a 7,000 RPM tack in your face and 160 to mile an hour speedometer right above it? All right, so let's go over some of the stuff that we talked about. We talked about a lot of style. Why did I spend a lot of time on style? Because that's one of the things that attracted you to this car, but it's also one of the things that we glaze over so quickly, right? However, this is great style. But what we do have too, on top of the great style is a great color combination. We talked about uh, the Roman red and the ermine white. We talked about matching numbers, engine inside. We talked about a four speed. We talked about the bumper exit exhaust, white convertible top that's in there, wide white radials, right? It's a restored car. Make sure you look at the pictures of this underneath as well, because all that's been detailed too. This is a super, super great car that you can enjoy uh, this weekend, right? You don't have to wait two to three years to restore it. It'll cost you way more uh, than it would cost to buy this car to restore it. They're talking well over 100,000 to restore a car and you still have to buy a car to restore. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 59 Corvette. And if you don't mind, uh, uh, hit the like button down below. That helps get our message out.
subscribe to the channel. We got new stuff coming out all the time and maybe share it with your friends. All right, the sound, man, that's what we care about, right? It's great looking, but we also like the sound. So what's it like to drive a 59 Corvette, you ask, right? This is what it's like, man. This is, uh, this is, this is what I talk about, right? Turn the phone off. If I get down a gear. Go for a drive. This is so nice. Oh my gosh. Wow. Like this rear view mirror, it's one of my favorite things I've ever seen in a car. I still love them. It's a shame that you can't do that today because it's just so good looking. Look, man, look what I'm doing. I'm not texting, I'm not getting Facebook feeds, Insta, boss isn't calling me. You know what I'm doing? I'm playing hooky, I've left work, and I'm going for a drive. I'm listening to the sound of that bumper exit exhaust, watching the tack move up and down in between shifts. This thing's got great power, V8 power. Don't forget, these are pretty light cars uh, and they need just a little bit of power to go and this one definitely goes. I haven't even got into the four barrel part of it yet. I don't like to ramble when I'm driving because it's just, it ruins the whole experience, but I just want you to know, and now I got that cool radio that looks like it's all kind of original. And All right, we're going around, back on the road again. Look at that nice drive. Talking about turning off the feed. This makes you smile, right? What a smile maker this is. 1959, man, no iPhone, no microwave, no internet, no uh, color TV. Just, just the real world good and the bad of today, man, but this lets you help you do both. You can go back in time a little bit. You can also uh, you can also get on the web while you're at the stoplight, check your text messages if you need to. I'm saying maybe give it a break for a minute. And let the Corvette take you to a new place. You need to find a way to get this one in your garage. 